Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. Um, today is the, I, I'm hoping the last day of the big heat wave that we've been having. And I know you're wondering why I am drinking a hot beverage and I have a stocking cap on. Um, it's because Jason, my husband, I love him, but he likes to keep the house very, very cold. So in the basement, it's especially cold. <laughs> and that's where I'm filming. <laughs> it's a zany video. We have just like some really strange things to talk about. I'm gonna start off with Marianne and Eleanor Dashwood in Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. And I know I put in the name of this video, uh, Marianne's Meltdown. And um, I think this may only be the second time I've read Sense and Sensibility, which is really quite, that's quite, a, that's a crime, Kelly. That is a booktube crime. I will be fined. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I really, as I was reading it, like I felt so much for Eleanor who primarily represents sense in the novel. Um, just, she controls her emotions and I really felt for her, like just all the things, the secrets that she had to keep. Um, and, but in truth, I'm, I'm probably more like Marianne <laughs> and um, I, okay, I want to, I want to clarify and I want to make sure everyone understands, like, I, I'm in a situation, it is totally a first world problem. My family is great, Jason's family is, remains tough as nails, um, Jason and I are great, our home, our cat, like, this is a very, very, in the grand scheme of things, insignificant situation. Um, it still has been weighing on me and it's been actually affecting my health. I won't, I won't go into the details of that, but, but it, the stress of it and the, um, just the pain of, of being, in some ways I feel like treated just really without kindness. Um, and I know I talk a lot about kindness. Um, and this is a, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. This is a super safe space. I, I promise you nothing bad will happen if you leave a comment. I'm just gonna respond and be like, hi, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> um, my mother is terrified of leaving comments on YouTube. She thinks like something catastrophic is gonna happen. And I promise you, I've worked really, really hard to make this as safe a space as I can, um, considering it's social media. And uh, anyway, so this situation, I just, it was finally like the straw that broke the camel's back. And I just, I, I was filming this video for Friday Reads um, and, and telling, telling all of you how much you mean to me, how much I care about you. And I just broke down in tears on camera and I edited quite a few of the tears out, but I still just didn't really, I didn't really want to post that. I don't, I don't want to post that video. Um, so, so we have this one instead <laughs> that's a little on the zany side, but you know, the truth is, and this is especially, I hope this, some small booktubers hear this and understand, you know, I have 1500 subscribers, um, after being on booktube for four years. And, um, I'm sure that there are a lot of people who would love to have 1500 subscribers. The thing is like, there's not 1500 people watching this video. Um, and, or, or watching any of my videos and that's okay. <laughs> like, but I'm so, I am so incredibly grateful. Please know how grateful I am for however, how, I wish I could name all of you. Um, 
however many people are watching, if you're watching right now, I'm so grateful. I really appreciate it. This has become such a sanctuary for me in some, some strange ways. Um, this has become a really, really important space in my life, which I never thought would be the case when it came to social media. But when I have a Marianne meltdown, in addition to talking to my parents and my husband and maybe my cat, um, I want to talk to all of you, you know. Um, I love talking to you about books. I love um, sharing my bookish journey and hearing about your bookish journeys either on your channels or in the comment section. Um, so please don't be afraid to leave a comment here or an emoji or give the video a thumbs up. Um, don't like nothing, nothing bad's gonna happen. And know that I feel tremendous gratitude for every view and and every every comment and every thumbs up or thumbs down. Like I, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for it. Um, and so, yeah. And that's what I was trying to say, but just I was just. <laughs> The faucets were just running. <laughs> and uh, so, but I did finish this last week. I finished Sense and Sensibility. It was wonderful. Um, I just really, really enjoyed it. I had, I did struggle a little bit with the ending, which was very embarrassing because I commented on um, uh, Katie uh, who, from Books and Things, who's one of the hosts of Jane Austen July. And, you know, she'd posted a picture of Sense and Sensibility and I was just like, Katie, is, is, does this happen? Or does this happen? Like, I don't understand. I and I, I reread a passage over and over again. And uh, anyway, so Katie, thank you. Um, I, I doubt you're watching, but if you are, I'm like super grateful for your feedback and responding to my, to my Instagram question about <laughs> one of the key things that happens towards the end of this book. Um, you know, I didn't cry while I was reading the book, but when I watched the, um, both the BBC miniseries and strangely, also the um, feature film with Emma Thompson, Kate Winslet, Alan Rickman, um, Hugh Grant. I, I cried in there. I cried watching both of them. And I, I didn't have that sense of being rushed um, when I was watching the feature film. It, it felt like there was enough breathing space um, still. Obviously there's tons um, in the in the feature film that's cut uh, from the book, but I, that you could say the same of the miniseries that it's it's not not everything is true to to Jane Austen's original genius work. So I'm still reading Austen Years by Rachel Cohen at an insanely slow slow pace. It's a memoir, um, a memoir in five novels. I think she just kind of dips in and out of Northanger Abbey. Um, but uh, I like it, and and maybe if I if I can't get if I if I don't gain some momentum with it, maybe I'll save it for nonfiction November. Um, but I'd like to I'd like to keep reading. I'd like to keep reading it. So um, and then the book that I'm farthest along is um, in the real Jane Austen: A Life in Small Things by Paula Byrne. Now, this last week, I was watching um, uh, Amy at Zoe Beck, and she was talking about the Claire Tomlin biography of Jane Austen, and it was so funny because everything she, all of her criticisms of that book are what I feel about this book. Like, I, I feel like Paula Byrne uh, is, is maybe jumping to some conclusions at times, um, I also, I also think the subtitle of this, and I realize probably maybe Paula Byrne didn't write the subtitle, but A Life in Small Things, like, like one of the things is sisters. That's not really like a thing. That's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the right, what the right word is. Grammarians help me out down below. But 
Anyway, it's a relationship. Um, <laughs> you know, it's not a thing. And um, anyway, but I I have felt like that she has jumped to some conclusions that I'm, I'm not sure I'm willing to jump to, but I'm still like nonetheless enjoying it. Um, uh, it's, it's not, it's not moving very fast for me and that's okay. Again, like if this continues on into August, so be it. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's good. It's a good book so far. Um, I, I've, I've learned some things about the time period, um, about Jane Austen. And so, yeah, so I'm still reading those. Um, this week on a non Jane Austen July related, uh, reading, I am going to be reading Passing by Nella Larson. Now I am doing this as a buddy read with Sandy and Miss Reads a lot and Denise at La Rosa Reads and talk about doing a buddy read with two of the most vivacious, um, <laughs> bubbly women. It's, I, I'm so excited to read this with them. It's a, sh it's, it's not a very long book. So, um, but I'm just really excited to read that with them. Um, and I'm also, I'm also trying not, I'm, I'm trying to forgive myself for the fact that I have not read a single day of July in Shakespeare for every day of the year. It hasn't because I haven't been thinking about Shakespeare, but I just, it's just been, um, yeah, it's just been, it's just been challenging. So, and again, on a, I, I really can't stress this enough because I know there are people out there who are going through really, really difficult situations, really painful things. Like I, I'm super blessed and, and you are all a part of that as well. Um, but yeah, so oh, we're just gonna put this week behind us. I finally, at like four o'clock in the morning, was just like mentally like waving a white flag um, in my mind. Um, you know, it's, it's a situation that I can do something about and I can, uh, yeah, I, I can, I can handle, but I just, it just took me a while to get to that point, I guess. So now on to something so random and very unusual for this channel. So I know some of you really like Star Trek and you really like maybe different series or you really like the Star Trek books. Um, my library is having a Star Trek book and memorabilia sale. I am not making this up. <laughs> Look, there's the, the poster, um, for, I'm sorry, it's so small. Gosh, dang it. Um, so this, just listen to this story. you like, you just won't even believe it. Are you, um, so the Friends of the Library, which is like the library's foundation, right? Um, has been gifted thousands of books and items and will be holding a special Star Trek science fiction sale on August 13th. Most items will sell at regular sale pricing from 50 cents to $2 and a few select items marked higher. So you have to make a reservation. There's, it's, the sale is only gonna last six hours. You have to make a reservation and only 30 people can be at the sale at a time. So only 90 people are going to be part, are going to actually get to go to this special Star Trek sale. And it doesn't cost to get in, okay? I want to share with you the list of what is going to be sold. Oh my God. Star Trek Barbie and Ken, Star Trek Clock, uh, Star Trek Mystery Game, Star Trek Original Series Paperbacks, um, Star Trek Original Series Paperbacks Numbered, um, Original Series Photo Novels. I don't know 
know what, and it's not photo like P H O T O, it's F O T O. I don't know what that is. Maybe you guys can clue me in. Star Trek original series hardbacks, Star Trek original cast um, member fiction, next generation reference materials, next generation paperbacks, and paperbacks numbered hardbacks reference material for next generation um deep space nine paperbacks and paperbacks numbered deep space nine hardbacks new frontier hardbacks and paperbacks enterprise hardbacks and paperbacks games and trivia um oversized paperbacks starfleet academy graphic novels can you believe i'm still talking um let's see um many uh, Star Trek DVDs, many different complete series, many, many crossover books, hardback and paper book, reference crossover books, Star Trek cast biographies, hardback and paperback, Star Trek magazines, all series. And this, I find this actually would be cool to see um, miscellaneous scripts from most series and other television and movie productions. <laughs> Hey, if this person had scripts, oh my God. So anyway, for those of you who love Star Trek, I'm not going to the sale, but I, I just had to share it with all of you because it's so unbelievable. Now, can you picture this? Can you picture a Jane Austen, a Jane Austen sale with thousands of books? So like a ton of like, her maid novels, all her juvenilia, her letters, all the biographies, history about that time, maybe even like writers who were contemporary to Jane Austen, all the retellings, the YA books. I mean, oh my gosh, that's what I want to go to. <laughs> I want to go to a giant Jane Austen themed uh, book sale. I have too many books as it is. <laughs> Booktube, I love you so much. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I would love to hear what your dream book sale would be in the comment section down below um, and or what you're reading this weekend. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you very soon. Bye.